Now let's convert decimals to octal. So let's say we have here a number 72 base 10 or simply 72. Let's convert it to octal. So that is 72. Let's divide it by 8. But that is exactly divisible. That's 9 times 8. And that is 72. So 72 divided by 8 is 9 with a remainder of 0. Now let's divide it again since we can still divide 8 here. 8 divided by 9, that's just 1 with a remainder of 1. Now, this will be our, our base 8 value, and that is 1, 1, 0, base 8. Now, let's have another one. Let's have a big number like 315. 315 or 315 base 10, let's convert it to octal. So that is 315 divided by 8. The answer here is 39 with a remainder of 3. Let's divide it again by 8. Uh, 39 divided by 8. The nearest, I think, is 4, 32. So that's 4 with a remainder of 7. Now, we can no longer divide 4 to 8. So this will be our answer, 4, 7, 3. 4, 7, 3, base 8. But what if, what if we want to convert this to decimal value? We want to convert this back to its decimal value. How will we do that? To solve that, let's just focus on these three digits. That will be 0, 1, and 1. This one, I will multiply 8 to the 0. This one, I will multiply 8 to the 1. And this one, I will multiply to 8 squared. And after that, I will add them. So this is 64 plus 1 times 8 is 8. 0 plus uh, multiplied to 8 is just simply 8 to the 0 is simply 0. Any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So that is a total of 64 plus 8 plus 0, 72. So we return back to this value. Same goes with this one. 473, let's convert that back to 315. So we have here 4, 7, and 3. We multiply that by 8 raised to 0. Multiply this by 8 raised to 1. And multiply it by 8 raised to 2. And then let's add it. So that is 4 multiplied to 8 base to 2 is 256. 256. We add it to 7 times 8. Fifty-six. And any number that is raised to zero is just one. So it's like three times one. So we have three. And if you add it, that would be 315. That's back to this value. And that's it.